Uh, it happened, it started, where else? It started right here in San Francisco. It was January 14th, 1967, in Golden Gate Park, when uh, they had the first human being or love-in. Hey, well, what is that? You know, nobody ever heard that concept before. That was a new one. Now. And uh, it was all very informal. Somebody asked me, Dave, who organized it? I said, organized it? <laughs> there ain't no such thing. And the word went out over the rock stations and word of mouth. It was all around the Bay Area. But I didn't really realize what was happening. I don't know, about 20, 30,000 people suddenly showed up on a, on a January day. That was pretty interesting. And uh, everybody kind of looked around and uh, said, hmm, there's a lot of people, a lot of uh, activity, a lot of action going on here. It was perhaps, I think, May, was it, uh, when uh, the same thing happened in New York. They had a, a, another bee in there. They had about 50,000. Hey, it started building up. This, is, uh, this could become a habit. Then uh, uh, June 1967, that album came out. Now, most of you remember where you were when you, uh, you lost your virginity or you gained your whatever you call it. <laughs> Oh, you remember where you were when Columbus discovered America in 1492? You remember that? And, uh, uh, short-term memory loss. <laughs> but it, most of us remember where we were the first time you heard that album. You picked that album up, and there are all those funny pictures. And when you start playing that, you realize this was a signal. This was a statement. This was a, uh, a real uh, uh, basic... Uh, positioning here, that this was not just another rock and roll record, it was not just love and June and Moon, this was a philosophic, a poetic, a, a social statement that something new was happening. It was a concept album. And above all, people, there were ideas in it, made you think, and, hey, what do they mean so much? How many millions of people spent, how many wasted, spaced out nights uh, trying to decipher and decode the meanings of some of those lyrics? Uh, but, uh, so I would say the 63 really started in 67. Now, if it started in 67, let's, let's see, uh, what happened? Well, okay, uh, 68, within nine months, this new movement of young people kind of celebrating individuality and, and indicating they want to change, and Dylan was saying, uh, ain't gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. Within nine months, they had gotten rid of the president, LBJ, he just tucked tail and ran back to Texas, man. And if people wanted to clean for Gene, and Bobby Kennedy came out for the kids, and then uh, 60, uh, 68 was the uh, Chicago Convention, kind of shook everything up. The Democratic Party's never been the same since then. And 69, Woodstock. Can you believe Woodstock? 400,000 people on a weekend coming up to some farm in the in uh, New York State, that became the third largest city in, in the state of New York. Four or five hundred thousand people, uh, almost no sanitation, uh, no real good food, uh, taking God knows what kind of drugs, day and night. And you know, there wasn't one recorded act of violence. Isn't that amazing. Four hundred thousand horny teenagers today getting together with. Uh, but it was kind of a lesson, it was kind of a signal that, hey, this is something new. Uh, then uh, 70, 72, 73, Watergate, uh, the 60s really, really didn't get going in the 70s, and I think the 60s peaked in the year 1976 when we elected as our president the ultimate hippy-dippy howdy duty Jimmy Carter. <laughs> He had a sleeping bag, and he was uh, quoting Bob Dylan and uh, playing softball with Ralph Nader, talking about lust in his heart. Oh. And, uh, you know, in the, in the grim uh, Rambo, pit bull, Ollie North 80s, I think how pathetic that guy was talking about love, peace. And, and he got uh, Sadat and uh, Bacon to come over there, and he got him in, in at uh, Camp David, and he said, uh, come on, on war, give peace a chance, and all you need is love, man, I come and, you know. And, uh, <laughs> he didn't let that happen very long. Uh, now, the, the, this so-called movement, see, what was happening was, every summer, a new uh, wave of uh, kids that became 21 and started joining the party. I think the whole thing ended in this country. In the year 1980, when we kind of hit that wall and elected as president, was it Nancy Reagan? No, no, it was uh, Admiral Poindexter. That's where the buck stopped. Yeah, so. <laughs> but 
You know, this movement that started here in San Francisco 20 years ago didn't stop in America. It kept moving around. By 68, it was in France. They called it Les Dés d'Amour. You remember those riots there? They closed the country down. And uh, it hit Spain as soon as the old general Franco died. Uh, young people took over, and Hope and Playboy magazine was shown in public, and they legalized, uh, they legalized marijuana. You know, that, that idea of the summer of love, which has something to do with, uh, we ain't gonna work on the assembly line, Maggie's farm for the military anymore. We're going to work out a new uh, way of life with individuality. It's, it's still going around. Can you believe, for example, the uh, TV we were seeing on news in South Korea? And that's South, South Korea. You know, it's a standard 1960 scenario. Here are the college students you know, in white shirts throwing flowers and, uh, and rocks. Uh, and there's the old Darth Vader, FBI, CIA, DEA. And there's the old classics. Uh, where they learn it? Well, you know where they learn it. Uh, South Korea is a cybernetic uh, television uh, culture. Person I'm meeting between Gorby, I love the New York Post, that's a right wing, you know, just a, they call him Gorby. <laughs> well, Gorby, Mrs. Gorby, uh, uh, met with uh, Yoga Ono and said, Isn't it too bad that John couldn't be here? And thanks for giving Peace a chance. And, uh, you know, I mean, can, now listen, uh, Yoga Ono couldn't get within 10 miles of the, of the uh, point next to the lighthouse where they uh, have music like the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and you know, uh, Frank Sinatra and so forth. So, the point I'm making here is that uh, this, uh, this movement that started here, which was a generational, which was, I think was an inevitable historic moment, movement, has been going on and still going on. And every time, every place, you see a new generation of young people coming along, uh, stressing freedom, individuality, loosening up the censorship, a down the military, you know that the thing is happening. I wish we could get back in this country, but I think we will. Okay. Uh, how are you? some of the people from the 60s uh, in San Francisco, I remember a few months ago, two months ago, there was Dr. Benjamin Spock, Tom Robbins, uh, Ken Kesey, and, uh, uh, about three months ago, uh, I had a reunion in Toronto, Canada, with Abby Hoffman and uh, Elbridge Cleaver. Oh, wow. You've seen Abby, one of the greatest orators of all time. You turn the fast speed forward, boy, and you get, you've got a rap. <laughs> Abby taught rap. Uh, he's got bandoliers of one-liners and cartridge belts of uh, facts and figures. I mean, boy, he just vroom. He knows how many uh, helicopters the Honduras government is using in Nicaragua. He knows how many gallons of urine is being tested by the drug test. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Abby doesn't listen <laughs> too well. <laughs> but that's cool because, you know, if he does all the talking, it's best for me to do. So uh, if they had asked me a question about drugs and Abby would answer, that's great. You know? <laughs> well, then Eldridge got on stage and uh, Eldridge, uh, you know, I go back so far with Eldridge Cleaver. Uh, gee, uh, we're more than we're like twins or genetic. Uh, we've been so many through lifetimes together. I knew Eldridge in 1968. He was running for president. Uh, the Peace to Freedom ticket. He was running against, I don't know, was running against uh, Nixon, yeah. Now, I think Eldred would have then and uh, would now make a better candidate for president than uh, for most of them. You know, Eldred can keep three ideas in mind. That's three times more than Reagan can. 